Hello, this is Jesse Liberty for Telerik. Today we're going to take a look at RAD Spell Checker and how easy it is to add spell checking to text boxes and other controls in your application. To get started, let's create a new project in Visual Studio. We'll call that Spell Checker Getting Started. We'll click OK and also OK for Silverlight 5. In the configuration wizard, we're going to scroll all the way down because what we want now is documents proofing. And while we're here, we're also going to add the dictionaries ENUS. Just by adding a reference to that, it will add the dictionary to our project. As soon as Visual Studio settles down, we're in the XAML and we're going to add a stack panel because we're going to put two controls in here. One will be a text box and the other will be a button. Let's add the text box first. We'll give that a name, set the width and height for the text box, and then let's add a button. We'll give that a name, set the content for the button, which will be displayed inside the button, and set the click event handler for the button. And then we'll go ahead and set the height and the width of the button as well. Finally, we're going to set a margin so that we have a little bit of room between the text box and the button itself. Remember, margins are set left top, right bottom. Let's save that. We now switch over to the code behind for the event handler for our button. We're going to add the necessary using statement so that we can access RAD spell checker and call check on RAD spell checker passing in the text box and the spell checking mode we want to use. That's all we have to do to add spell checking for that text box. Notice there's no particular control we have to add to the XAML. Let's run the application, give ourselves a little bit more room. We've got our text box and our button. Let's put in a little bit of text with a couple typos that we can then spell check and click the spell check button to bring up the spell check mechanism and sure enough it finds the first typo we'll change the typos as it displays them to us although we have the option to ignore or add to the dictionary when the spell checking is complete the text box has been updated with all of the fixes i hope you've seen how incredibly easy it is to add spell checking to your application for Telerik, this is Jesse Liberty. Thank you very much, and I look forward to talking with you again very soon.